Delta Airlines, Southwest Airlines, and Qantas Airways are some of the airlines whose Google Business Profile's phone numbers were hijacked during the peak of summer by scammers who were trying to trick unsuspecting customers. According to a CNN report, a Twitter user uncovered the scam. He called Delta Airlines through the airline's Google Business Profile, only to receive a callback from someone posing as a Delta customer service representative. However, the call came from a phone number with a French country code. The supposed agent offered to change the customer's flight reservation, but demanded a payment that was five times the original ticket price. Luckily, these wise travelers smelled something fishy and didn't go along with it. Another story on Twitter, this time brought to light by Darren Shaw, showed that someone changed the primary information of this business owner's Google listing. This led to the suspension of the listing itself, meaning the owner can no longer prove their ownership of the listing and are unable to reinstate it. These stories are pretty scary, especially if you rely on your Google business listing to get customers. Unfortunately, they aren't rare and they could happen to you too. The big problem is that anyone can edit any random Google business profile, even you. All you need to do is go on Google Maps, search for a keyword or even a competitor's listing. Once you've found a listing you want to modify, just click on Suggest and Edit. This will open a pop-up with two options. Let's look at the first one, change name or other details. When you click that, you have the ability to edit vital business details within the listing, such as the name, address, phone number, linked website, operating hours, and more. Imagine if someone changed any of these on your listing just to mess things up. You wouldn't be very happy. The second option is even worse. You can tell Google the business is either temporarily or permanently closed, relocated, not accessible to the public, and more. This could have devastating consequences. But as Google calls them, these are suggested edits and won't always get published. And if they do, you should technically receive a notification email like this one. I said technically because unfortunately, sometimes you won't and Google will just go ahead and publish those edits without letting you know. To make things trickier, many business owners use a different email from the one they use to set up their business. So they'll miss the message altogether if there is one. Instead, if someone has edited your listing, you're more likely to find out when you log into your profile. If a change was made, you should see a message that says changes were made based on feedback from users. This means Google has already implemented those changes. And if you don't like them, you will need to edit them to revert back to what the listing was like before. Even though Google says they check all the edits, doing it manually would be an impossible task because there are millions of Google business profiles out there that get edited every day. In most cases, these checks are done automatically, which leaves a lot of room for mistakes. This is something scammers can exploit quite easily, which is what we saw at the beginning of this video. So how can you protect your Google business listing from being edited and avoid a potential catastrophe? One way to stop anyone from changing the information on your listing is by logging into your account regularly and looking for any new updates. This is a labor-intensive process and can become very frustrating over time, not to mention you're likely to forget to do this at some point, which will still leave your listing exposed. Wouldn't it be nice if you were told every time someone tries to change your listing? And if you don't like the changes, you could just say you don't want them. Well, it actually can be that simple. There's a brand new tool out there that can do this for you. When someone tries to change your listing and Google puts those changes up without you knowing, this tool will let you know. You can easily say no to the changes with just one click. Pretty cool, right? To set up this tool, go to whitespark.ca and select the GBP management option. I've put the link to it in the description below. Click on get started and create an account. Once you've done that, you can either bring in your Google business profile details automatically or add them manually. Once you're all set up, make sure to turn on the GBP management service and that's it. From now on, if someone tries to edit the information on your listing, WhiteSpark will send you an email to let you know what changes were made. Just click review the updates to see the changes on your dashboard. In this example, someone changed the opening date and operating hours of the listing. You can see what was modified as it is highlighted in blue. In the right hand side column, you can compare the new and old information. You have the option to either accept these changes if you feel they are relevant or reject them if you want to go back to how things were before, all in just one click and your listing will be automatically updated. 
On top of that, this tool is able to detect changes made by people who are authorized to manage your account. If you've assigned a manager to oversee your profile, WhiteSpark will also send you an alert whenever they make a change. This is something Google wouldn't inform you about and is extremely helpful in case they make a mistake. This guarantees that you can always check any changes and make sure that your listing is accurate 100% of the time. You also have the option to add multiple email addresses to your account. Each of these addresses will receive an alert notification whenever a change is made to the listing. This is super useful if you use multiple email addresses as you will never miss a notification. While this tool isn't free, you can subscribe to the service for just $12 for a whole year, which I think is a very small price to pay for a peace of mind. And I'm sure the people at Delta Airline would agree with that, don't you? That's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. Remember to smash the like button if you did and to subscribe if you haven't yet. And until next time, happy marketing.